Hey you guys, what is going on bra here on Borderlands 2 here to tell you guys how to get to the end of Digistruct Peak which means OP8 which also means that you guys are going to be able to get level 80 weapons. Now if you guys don't know what Digistruct Peak is, it is one of the most annoying places in the game. Basically every time you run through it, you get one level of OP. Now you can go all the way up to OP8 which leads you to the very end. Now each OP will lead you to a certain part of the arena and then you'll stop but basically what we're going to is the OP8 boss at the very end of the arena which leads to you getting every OP no matter what even if you just are OP1. Now you will have to do this eight times so it is a little frustrating and unfortunately you can't really do it with any other character but the Gunzerker at least to my knowledge so guys, this basically is only with the Gunzerker, and I'm sorry to say that. Now, before we start this method, I want you guys to understand how to use Rocket Jump. Rocket Jump is basically when your character has a very resistant shield, hence the Sham Shield, which is very resistant to bullets and will catch a lot of bullets that it shoots in, kind of like the Sham Wow, if you guys remember that commercial, that's actually what it's referencing, where it absorbs everything that comes in contact with it. Now, basically, when you rocket jump, you want to be a Gunzerker, have two grenades, you want to throw the grenades down, and you want to jump. As you jump, and the grenades are about to blow up, you want to shoot the rockets, and then you'll get a really high jump in the air. Now, to get two grenades, you want to be into the Rampage skill tree and get double your fun, which is basically amazing. If you don't have that already, then I don't know what to tell you. But basically having that, you can easily be lifted off the ground with two rockets. Now, unfortunately, you can't use rockets that are your level, otherwise they will kill you. Even if you do have a very powerful sham shield, any bullet that gets through the sham will easily destroy your life. I use two Gibbed Bata Booms. Now there's a problem with that because Gibbed is really hard to get in this game unless you have somebody to drop them for you. But you can get low level Bata Booms from King Mong at the end of Iridium Blight. You kill him in the normal mode and he should drop you a really low level bada booms. Now you can't get these low levels because these are level 1s, but the low levels he'll drop you are almost just as useless. Now, you guys want to use the bada boom because it has a lot of projectile and will help you jump in the air a lot easier. To my knowledge, again, there is no rocket out there that can do this exact same thing. Now like I said guys, for this method you're going to want to have a sham shield and the biggest thing ever is you want to de-equip your grenade mod. That is the biggest step of them all. You want to de-equip your grenade mod because if you have a grenade mod on, you will probably fail at this. So for this method, basically what you want to do is you want to gun zerk. You want to look right at the ground. Throw the two grenades at the ground. They'll bounce up and then they'll land. And right as they're about to land, you want to jump up. And then you want to have kind of a timing, so you're going to want to practice it a few times. Basically what you want to do is as they're about to land, you want to shoot both the rockets at your feet and then you will get a very, very high jump advantage over really anything in the game. This helps a lot of people get through areas. This also helps a lot of people, you know, break barriers, break walls down. They jump over things they're not supposed to see. To everyone, the Gunzerker is no doubt the most broken character in the game. Now basically what you want to do for this method is you want to start Digistruct Peak the normal way you know, run down the little alleyway with all the enemies that spawn. And then right as you get to the end, you want to take a left. When you take a left, you will see this little rock formation right against the wall that you just entered from. And then you want to go up to it and then rocket jump on top of it. Now when you get to the very top of it, what you want to do is you want to run down and you'll just see this little ledge right below it and you want to run to that ledge and then this part's a little tricky guys, you're going to die a few times, I can guarantee it if you haven't done this already before, but you want to throw two grenades down, back up, sprint, jump, shoot, and then the grenades plus the rockets will boost you all the way to it. Now like I said, this is going to be a little difficult for 
first timers. There is a little bit of a window to get through it. Uh, it's not a very big window. I barely hit that window. If you can tell, I didn't really get very far there. You can end up to the middle of this boss arena. So there's a little bit of a window, but basically you just want to throw the grenades, back up, sprint, jump, shoot. And it requires perfect timing and it's pretty difficult. So guys, get ready to die a few times. Basically, when you get to this boss arena, you want to go down the elevator shaft that I'll show you in this video, and then when you go down there and come back up, he will spawn. Now, he is not a very easy boss. He's actually pretty difficult. Uh, he's not one of the most difficult enemies in the game, but he is pretty difficult. It will take a pretty intense build to take care of this guy. He doesn't have as much health as a raid boss, but he does have some pretty hefty amount of health. I use this build that you see on screen that uses a rocket launcher plus a sniper rifle that kills like every enemy in like a few hits. Basically, I use it for raid bosses, and it's super overpowered. And if you guys want to know how to do that build, uh, leave a like on the video and comment you want to see it, because I could definitely tell you guys how to use it. It's very powerful and will easily make this game less fun for you. <laughs> or more fun, depending on how you see it. So when you finish it, it should say you get an overpower. Now, there's no way to get back. You're going to unfortunately have to die. There is also a little downtrot with this method. You're gonna lose ammo very quickly. Rocket ammo is going to be very depressing because you're gonna run in, run out of it every 10 seconds. Basically what you want to do is you want to have a really low level Logan's gun. Now you get Logan's gun from Wilhelm. He drops it and it's a pretty terrible weapon, I'm not gonna lie. But if you have a low level one and you shoot it at your feet, you will get rockets if you have a sham on or any absorption shield. I recommend the sham though, because the sham has a very high absorption chance, like I said before. But the Logan's gun is incredibly useful for this method, guys. You're gonna die a few times and you're gonna lose rockets over it. And it's gonna be a little sad, but that's okay, guys, because you will get through it. And I believe in you. You do have to do this eight times and it is going to be a little tedious, but after you get it down a few times, you should be able to pro through it and just do it amazingly. Guys, if you do have any questions on this video, don't forget to comment below and ask me any questions. I will be happy to answer them because because I can't explain everything in a few minutes of the video. So guys, that is the end of this video. Um, like I said, guys, if you have any questions, don't forget to comment below. If you guys want to see this amazing build I have for the Gunzerker, don't forget to comment and leave a like asking me to do it because I, I wouldn't really do it if you guys didn't ask me to. But guys, if you did enjoy the video, don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe for more content like this. Then we're going to check out my links in the description, Twitch, Twitter, Facebook, and my friend's channel. If you do leave a like on the video, I will love you to death. And if you subscribe to my YouTube channel, you'll become a Bruja, which of course is the best thing ever. And I will see you later, Bruja's! Seasons change, our roads were